Hi, this is Dr. Hess. Today we're going to use three called notes. Today we're going to talk about amortized loans. We'll use the time value of money solver on GeoGebra to help us out with this. The question I want you to think about as we're discussing this is what is an amortized loan and how do you solve these problems? So first, what is an amortized loan? So the basic idea is you've got a loan where you have to make payments on a regular basis. And these payments are gonna be split. Part of the payment every month is gonna to go towards paying the interest and part of the month monthly payment is gonna to go towards paying off the principal or the amount that you borrowed. So an example of this would be a car loan or a home loan, which is also called a mortgage. So here's an example. You decide to purchase a $300,000 home. You have a 20% down payment. You select a 20 year loan at 4%. And so what we wanna to find today is what is your monthly payment? How much did you pay on interest for the life of the loan? So the whole 20 years, how much of your, how much did you pay the bank for letting them lend you money? And you're gonna create what we call an amortization schedule. So let's start by talking about what is a down payment. So it's a portion of the value of the home or the vehicle that you pay up front or in cash, meaning you have that money in your bank account and you give it to the seller at the same time that you give them the money from the loan. So for example, if you buy a $20,000 car and you have $5,000 for a down payment, you only need to borrow 15,000 from the bank because 5,000 plus 15,000 gives you the whole purchase price. And so it's showing that you're invested in it you're putting a, some of your own cash down and so the bank is more willing to lend you the money by having that. So here's a, um, what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at this problem again and we're gonna start by finding the monthly payment. But the, before we go too far, we do need to figure out what the down payment is. And so what we're gonna do is we need to first convert 20% to a decimal. So 20%, you divide it by 100 is the same as 0 .0, 0 0.20. So that's our, that's how we change 20% to a decimal. And then we're going to take 300,000 and multiply it by 20%. And that's going to give us 240,000. So that's the amount that we need to borrow. That's the amount of our loan. So this is the number we're using in our calculations. All right, so now this is what we're gonna put on our solver. So we just found out how much we're going to borrow. So that's where this 240,000 comes from. That's the purchase price minus what we paid up front in cash. It's a 20 year loan. So we're gonna have 20 years and it's monthly payments. And so because it's monthly, we're gonna have 20 times 12 is 240. Because it's monthly, our payments per year and our compounding per year are also 12. Our interest rate is 4% as a number. And so now we're gonna solve for the payment. So hit the payment button and click on the box to make sure you can see all the decimals. So our monthly payment is 1,000 $454.35. Alright, so now let's talk about the total interest paid on the loan. So that is the amount you paid in total over compared to the borrowed amount. So notice that we borrowed, in this case, we borrowed $240,000. But for 20 years, you made monthly payments. And so we want to know what's the difference between the amount you borrowed and the sum of all those payments. Because of the interest, what you pay the bank is going to be more than 240000 And so we want to know how much more did you pay the bank. So we're going to take our monthly payment, multiply it by the total number of months. 
So this is the number of months. And this is how much we paid the bank. So part of this value is paying off the loan and part of it is interest. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to take this value, the total amount we pay, subtract off the amount we borrowed, so that's how much we borrowed, and that difference, that 109 and 44, that's the interest paid. So notice we paid a lot in interest. We paid $109,000. And so that's the cost. That's what, that's the reason the bank will lend you money is because they make something off of it. Okay. So we've got part A, we've got the monthly payment figured out. We got the total interest paid figured out. Now we need to create what's called an amortization schedule. So let's talk about what an amortization schedule is and what it means. So an amortization schedule is a table and it helps you know where your payment's going. Part of your payment's gonna go towards paying the interest and part of it's going to go to paying off the original loan amount. I'm gonna show you a tool that Bankrate has. I found it really helpful. They don't endorse me, I don't get anything from them. It's just a very nice tool that I like. And so if you go to the comments in this video, there's a direct link to it. I'm gonna pull it up and show you how it works. So this is the bank rank calculator. You'll put in the amount that you're borrowing in this first box, the number of years for your mortgage in the next box, and the interest rate here. And then you can click on the show amortization schedule. You can change the starting date if you want, and then it gives you this table. And so it gives you a starting date. And, and in this specific, specific loan, the payment was $836. And of that $836.03, $217.26 went to pay off the original loan, the principal, and $618.75 went to interest in the first month. And so after the first month, $618 went towards interest. And this is how much is left on that loan. In the second month, the payment's still the same. Notice how the payment is the same every single month, but a little bit more went towards the principal and a tiny bit went less, went towards interest. And now you take the previous month's interest and this month's interest and you add those together and that's where that total interest comes from. And then this balance goes down by the amount that we paid towards the principal. So not a lot, just a little bit. And again, the third month again, the payment's still the same. The principal's a tiny bit higher. The interest is a tiny bit lower. And we've paid even more on interest because now we've had three months of 617, 618. And the total balance that we owe has gone down just a little bit more. Every month so far, it's gone down by about 217 or 18 a month. And so when we're asked for the first six months of the amortization schedule, this is what we're looking for. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, if you're doing this on a homework problem set, just notice that the order of the columns might not be the exact same that we have here, but they'll be the same columns and the same concept. So let's talk about our amortization for our problem. So here's our problem again. And so in our problem, we borrowed $240,000. And so that's that's what we put in for the mortgage amount right here. Our term was 20 years. Our interest rate was 4%. Notice, bank rate also calculates a payment for you. That lines up with what we had. And so here's our amortization schedule. This is our first six months. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is what the problem's asking for. Um, you will also notice that Bankrate does give you the total interest paid, but it's a little bit different than what we calculated um, just because of the way they have it programmed um, and the way their timing worked. It's just a little bit different. Um, my recommendation if you're in my class is stick with the way we did it on the slide where you're 
taking your payment and multiplying it by the number of months. Um, but it's only going to be off by a few cents if you use their value. Um, but if you do have an automated computer program, stick with this. This one won't work. All right, let's keep going. All right, so there. In our video in summary, we talked about amortized loans. We talked about how to find the monthly payments, the total interest, those tables, the amortization schedules, and what's a down payment, how does the down payment impact your loan, how do you find the down payment, and all those things. So here's an extension problem for you to try. It's the same problem we had before, but it's a 30-year loan. So not only do I want you to solve this problem, but I want you to compare the monthly payment to the monthly payment in our 20-year loan. I want you to compare the total interest to the total interest in our loan. How do the payments compare? Are they really, really different or not? How does the total interest paid compare? Is it really, really different or is it not? And then create the six month amortization schedule. So pause the video, give it a try and come back. All right, so here are the answers. You'll notice that the monthly payment is not a lot different. It's not a ton different, it's just a little bit higher. But the interest, the total interest paid is almost double. Um, so just an interesting tidbit, if you have the option and the ability to take a shorter loan, a 20 year loan instead of a 30 year loan, you end up paying just a little bit more, but a lot less in interest and you get it paid off faster. And here's the amortization schedule. Um, so let me know if you have any questions and thanks for joining.